Okay. Uh, firstly, I want to thank Daniel, who had the first presentation today in the morning. I mean, after he spoke about AI, and after we spoke about Pixis, I was like, I don't have to go on the stage at all. I mean, the half job was done there. But thank you, Daniel, for considering us as one of the leading uh, AI growth engines right now. Uh, this image is not made by human. This image is made by AI. The only input in this image was Neil Pandya, text input. Neil Pandya, Pixis, and AI. And that's how this image, I'm not self-obsessed to put my image on the first screen, but I was forced by my team to put that across. Uh, having said that, uh, when I spoke about, when, when we were talking to Austin about prediction 2023, uh, I had to be here. Why? Because if you know simple definition of AI, is predicting the future with 99% of accuracy. So whatever I'm gonna say in the next 10 to 15 slide will have 90% of accuracy in your day-to-day -day business life. Uh, thanks to Austin, uh, I've been told to keep my slides really heavy. So don't worry, my job will be easier to divert the conversation where it is important for you to take home. So having said that, let me set the context initially. All of us are aware that MENA is becoming the new marketing hub, and the obvious reason is this. I mean, this is the region which is growing with a 25% CAGR in the digital ad spend, 25 to 30%. I mean, if you compare that to anywhere in the world, it is significantly high. If you see AI in this region, it's currently adopted as a billion dollar industry, expected to grow seven billion by end of 28, seven X growth. And interestingly, the region is split in such a way where UAE, Saudi covers the maximum ad spend, but Africa and a lot of other regions are having the highest CAGR in terms of additional growth. So that sets the context. Why do we need AI together? So let's now understand why should you pay attention? Yeah, I really promised you guys that I, it will be really heavy slides in terms of numbers, but let's, let's see what it is all about. If you see this chart is a marketer survey on his level of innovation and his interest level. And if you see here, AI is highest in mind of marketer in terms of innovation, and it is somewhere middle in terms of interest level. And that's where I'm predicting that the use of AI will be really heavy in 2023. Why? Because if you see the right-hand side of the chart, marketeers who have used AI in their marketing activity have seen at least 2x growth in terms of their financial numbers. It could be either for performance, top of the funnel, or bottom of the funnel. Says the context, right? One of the common reasons I get across to multiple clients in which I interact is that, you know, AI is not made for my industry. I mean, I really don't need AI. It is for lower, lower funnel activities. But if you see this particular chart, uh, sorry, if you see this particular chart, across all the industries, uh, applied AI is something which is applicable because it is category agnostic. If you have a top of the funnel activity, like brand awareness, reaching the highest number of audience in less number of uh, CPMs, yes, AI can do that job. It is also relevant to industries who have a lower funnel activities, like BFSI, auto, for lead generations, and it is exclusively for them to ensure that. So AI is category agnostic. So if whatever industry in which you are spending on marketing, definitely you can use, make use of AI. Why, what's at stake? I mean, why are we all speaking about AI over and over again? I mean, this, if you see the left-hand side of the chart, I mean, let's focus only on marketing and sales because most of the marketers are in the room. It's a globally 3.3 to $6 trillion industry. And if you're spending so much in this industry, you definitely need to have better ROI in the industry. And how do we say that? If you see this graph, again, guys, this is a heavy slide, but if I have to bring you down into your attention, uh, this is the two graph where AI has helped marketeers in increasing revenue and at the same time reducing the cost. So it is, for example, you are looking at top of the funnel or bottom of the funnel activity for getting more and more business, AI will definitely help you do that. But at the same time, it will get you at a lower and cheaper cost. So that's another reason why what is at stake. So now, so this was just setting the context. What is AI? How, how important AI is? What I'm going to focus now in the next 10 minutes is all about four big things in marketing in 2023. I mean, all of us are aware about the word recession. I don't want to say it, but it is somewhere... Uh, there we all might face in terms of layoffs and other stuff. So in recession, the first thing which will got, get cut off from our marketing budgets would be the media and the digital spends. How AI will play an important role in that particular thing. 
Uh, most of us, I mean, the previous presentation also spoke about Gen Z, uh, how targeting of the future should be relevant into the entire wall garden industries which we are living in right now. So how AI can help that. Uh, I also saw some of the charts for today which was talking about we have loaded with a lot of MarTech Mar stacks. So how you can use AI in order to not differentiate yourself from different MarTech, but have one unified AI for that. And lastly, relevance. Uh, all of us know that one size fit all do not work always. So it's also important that how AI can bring in relevance. So these are the four broad topics I'm going to cover, uh, focusing on how AI will help that. OK, talking about recession, I mean, if you see this particular chart, I mean, most of the developed countries are seeing a growth which is in a decline form. I'm not saying it is, a, it is a negative growth, but if you see all of these regions are seeing a decline growth, possible outcome of a recession. The good part for us being in this region is that although there is a decline growth, but it is still growing heavily at a CAGR, which I mentioned again, was a 30 percent. If you see a lot of these comments around the slide about layoffs, recessions, so the next obvious thing which will happen is cutting down the marketing budget. So when you cut down your marketing budget, do you really want to uh, reduce the reach numbers or the awareness numbers or the performance number? That's where AI will come into picture. So if you see if a life without AI and a life with AI. I mean, if you see life without, obviously the marketing budgets will be restricted and we will be manually interventing all of that thing. If you put an AI into a marketing optimization, it is the only version which can do cross-platform optimization. Imagine you have a million dollars to spend in a month. Uh, you're spending 30% on Facebook, 40 on Google, and 30 on the rest of the other things. You realize by the end of the month that you know the Facebook really did not work for you and Google really worked for you. What AI will do in this situation is that AI in real time will shuffle budgets between Google and Facebook depending upon your end objective. So that's important in 2023 when recession is going to hit. Rapidly changing landscape. I mean, there's GDPR coming in, there's cookie-less world, iOS 14 already being launched. In such scenarios, as a marketer or media agencies, we are facing a lot of negativity in terms of the growth. How can AI do that? AI will do. AI will optimize all of this thing in real time. Means uh, which day of the week, what time of the day, what TG, how much budget to go give into that TG is all done on automation basis. So basically, in a in a scenario where we're going to go into little bit of recession, where we might have an impact on the marketing budget, the best ROI is to optimize through artificial intelligence. Uh, why do one of the reasons which also again a heavy slide so let me focus on the important points here so most of us have seen in last six to eight years that the mar marketing tax tech has been increasing over and over I mean there is a new player or a new technology which is coming up again and again and as a marketer and a media agencies the use of that marketing stack is becoming blur so what we recommend here is that if one of the top uh, if you start using AI as an algorithm over and above your all marketing tax tech, rather individually using all of them and finding difficulties in finding attribution of individual tax tech, why don't you use artificial intelligence, which can do multiple things. It can do attribution, it can do real-time optimization, it can do creatives in real time, and you really need to measure from your end source of truth. So that's another important reason about AI. How can AI do that? Um, again, a little heavy slight, sorry, apologies for that. Uh, but uh, basically, through artificial intelligence, uh, I'm not talking about Pixis here, but through any artificial intelligence, there are three layers which, as a marketer, which we do it. Our first layer is basically doing bid and budget, right? We do that in and day in, day out. Through AI, we automate that. I mean, which day of the week, what time of the day, what audience, that is done in real time. Second is targeting. Uh, how do you do through and uh, so I mean most of the marketers in the room uh, who are CPG category or other category are doing broad based targeting means age and interest through AI you can identify from macro to micro TG you never go so micro that your CPMs become expensive and then your end objective become expensive and lastly is the creative AI which helps you uh, so for example again one size fit all right if you have a master creative I am an ex L'Oreal so if I 
L'Oreal has a red lipstick as one of the master creative, and my wife really hates red as a color, then I really do not want to show her the red color lipstick because she will never buy that. So through AI in real time, identifying the cohort and showing different individuals, different creatives is what AI will help. So that's what we're talking here. Uh, Again, I think everyone spoke about that, you know, millennials are the most important, Gen Z and the millennials are the most important TG whom we are chasing. But this TG is also the most um, playful TG into the digital world, I would say. I mean, they're not present on one platform at any given point in time. They're moving from one platform to another platform. For those TG, it, hence it becomes more difficult for us as targeting them in the right places. And we also have seen that, you know, because of uh, new technology coming, because of new audience stagnating in individual platforms, digital ecosystem and pricing the digital ecosystem is becoming expensive. I am, I'm sure all of us would have observed that in terms of individual campaigns which we have been doing it. How to solve this? I mean, that's where uh, AI comes into consideration. So I have a small video which will talk about uh, targeting in general. So largely, through targeting on AI, we not only help our customers to identify new cohorts, but at the same time, expand and scale up the existing cohorts. That leads into a better ROI for them. Last point in the marketing 2023 is relevance. All of us have seen that relevancy of all our ads is becoming deteriorating over the years. So if you see this chart here, most of the people who are seeing uh, ads are finding it not relevant or somewhat relevant and very relevant graph is dropping. And this is one of the reasons why I've stopped clicking on ads altogether it has been increasing. So this is data points among all of us as a survey. How do we solve that? I mean, without AI, it's practically impossible because you have one master creative, which you do use that creative across all your target audience. It could be male, female, X, Y, Z. But what we do through Creative AI, we identify the cohorts of individual targeting audience. And basis those cohorts, we, we create a real-time customization. So someone who is looking out for sale as a product, I will show, show him only discounted creators. Someone who is looking out for premium products, I will show them only premium products as a creative. So that's how AI generally helps in terms of targeting AI. Uh, so this was a sum up. Uh, if you predict 2023, I believe these are the four broad points which would be really important for us in order to bring in your marketing ROI maximum and how AI can help uh, to do all of that thing. I mean, this uh, video we have seen in the start, so I will skip it. Yeah, but. If I have to speak about the DHL case studies, so DHL is our global client. They're working with us across 36 countries. When we did Pixis AI on DHL, how do we prove Pixis? I mean, what we do, we let marketers to do control and exposed campaign. Control means however you're doing right now in a manual state or using some other technology or using the platforms, and exposed is that you pass all of that money through Pixis AI. And this is the results which they saw. I mean, they were running campaigns on cost per point, which has reduced by 30. Their core objective was to scale up. I mean, they really, and trust me, they really didn't care about efficiencies in others. They were focusing more on how they can scale up with the similar budgets. And these are some of the clients which we, you might be interacting day in, day out. So that's the result about Pixis AI. Coming to the last, I mean, I know, uh, we spoke a lot about AI, a little bit about Pixis. 
Uh, we are uh, US headquartered as of today. We are present in 16 countries. We started our operation in eight months back in Dubai and MENA region. And we are seeing a significant importance among more and more clients coming to us. Globally, we have 200 plus clients. Uh, out of this 200 plus clients, if you see an average CAC reduction after a client has adopted Pixis is roughly 34%, and an average increase in ROAS is roughly 28%. We are currently present on the platforms of entire Meta family, which is Facebook, Instagram, entire Google family, TikTok, LinkedIn, Bing. While we speak, Q1 of next year, we're going to bring in Snapchat, Twitter, Pinterest, Amazon, and a lot of other trade decks and programmatic platforms as well. So our core objective of Pixis is to ensure that every money you are spending right now in marketing, how we can bring maximum ROI for you. And that's where I have a challenge uh, for this room as well. Uh, we, we are so confident about a product because we have seen that in history for the last four years. This is a challenge for everyone in the room. Come to us if, if we don't beat your KPIs. It could be any KPIs, top of the funnel, lower funnel, mid funnel. If we don't beat those KPIs by at least 10 to 15%, it will be free of cost for you guys. I mean, that's on an average which we have been speaking. And if, you, if we are not able to do that, we will continue to do uh, spending on our own for your own campaign. So that's the challenge which we are trying to say. So come, come to us. If you find two pretty faces outside me in this room is Smridula and Devjit around. We also have a booth outstairs. Uh, I, Austin mentioned we are running a contest to win an Apple Watch also. So do participate. If not for Pixis, for an Apple Watch, come to our booth for, and say hi to us. And that's about it. And as I rightly said, uh, we optimize time. Uh, I finished three and a half minutes before our 20 minutes of session which was given. So that's about Pixis. Any questions, happy to answer outside. And thank you so much, everyone.